please welcome Jimmy Carr. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jimmy Carr. Uh, I'm from Great Britain, obviously. And what makes Britain great is our ability to laugh at ourselves. And when I say ourselves, I mean other people. <laughs> and when I say laugh, I mean invade. <laughs> when I'm away from home, I sometimes get lovesick. Well, they call it chlamydia. I had an amazing cab driver in New York City today. He was driving along, whistling, smiling, clearly in a brilliant mood. He said, I love my job, I'm my own boss, nobody tells me what to do. I said, left here. <laughs> People worry about their physical appearance. We've all got silly hang-ups, yes, about our physical appearance. I worry that one of my balls is bigger than the other two. I think you know you're getting old. I feel like I'm getting old. I was watching porn last week. I found myself thinking, that bed looks comfy. <laughs> People claim to be into recycling. You into recycling? Yeah. People claim to be into recycling, but you should see their faces when you rinse out a condom. It's very difficult to get the first kiss right. You want to be firm, but gentle. You want to be manly, but you don't want to wake her up. <laughs> Here's a word of warning to everyone at uh, Radio City Music Hall. Gentlemen, you've got to be very careful with jokes in the bedroom, because it's quite funny to say to a girl who's giving you a blowjob, it's rude to talk with your mouth full. But it's even funnier if she says, well, it's not full. <laughs> I used to be a gentleman. This would be hard for you to believe. I used to be a gentleman. I didn't even used to talk to, about sex with close personal friends. Now, I'll share with everyone. Here's an intimate detail I don't mind sharing with the whole of New York. My girlfriend can't have orgasms during intercourse. But it's not a problem, because I can. I gave my girlfriend an orgasm, and she spat it back in my face. <laughs> let's, let's hear it from the ladies in New York. Give us a shout, ladies. <laughs> you sound in wonderful spirits. Do you think you're easy to live with, ladies? Well, that's great. This is going to be educational and fun. I'm going to tell you, ladies, how easy you are to live with, and I'm going to do it just with a couple of questions. Just answer honestly and quickly. I'll tell you how easy you are to live with. Ladies of New York, have you ever met a gay man? Yeah. Have you ever noticed how happy homosexual men are? Yeah. What's missing from their lives? <laughs> you. I got into an argument with my girlfriend. She said, you treat this house like a hotel. I said, I have never snorted cocaine off a hooker's tits in this house. <laughs> That's just a joke. I've never paid for sex, <laughs> which has upset a lot of prostitutes. There's a big problem with bullying around the world, ladies and gentlemen. There's a huge problem with bullying. And as I see it, there's two ways to stop bullying. Firstly, you can stop the bullies. Well, that's been tried and it hasn't worked. <laughs> Secondly, you can stop the kids that are being bullied from being such faggy dicks. <laughs> and really, the best way to do that is bullying. A lot of planning is going on for the 2012 Olympics in London. Sadly, most of the planning is being done by Al-Qaeda. 
I just don't understand it. Why would you become an Islamic fundamentalist, suicide bomber, on the off chance you might get 72 virgins when you die? Become a Catholic priest and have them now. <laughs> Well, that's it from me. Thank you very much indeed for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> a charity worker came to my front door and they were collecting for a homeless shelter, so I gave him a cardboard box. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, am I right?